Game 3 between the West Durham Ironheads and Green Gales, with this series tied at one apiece. Ironheads leading playoff scorer Cameron Guinness left warm-ups with a lower body injury, and it's the captain, Aiden Conlon, putting the offense on himself, getting the Ironheads the early lead. The Gales would respond. Peter Hernick walks in and sneaks one by Newman to tie it here at one. Then it's Jack Boyden who finds the mesh to take a one-goal lead, two to one. After a battle in the corner, Conlon turns on the Jets, fires home his second of the game for a two-goal lead. One minute left in the period and the Gales pressing. Brock Haley walks out, shoots it wide, Adam Kitchen picks it up and he walks in, beats Newman, cutting the deficit to one and we're 3-2 at the end of the first period. Over to the second and it's the Ironheads who strike first. Mark Wilson uses the John Fox screen and he beats Stephen Wall short side. But the Gales answer. Brendan Lundy uses the Owen Boyle screen. Then he finds him on the roll and he gets right in on Newman, making it 4-3. And back and forth we go as the Ironheads, John Fox, powers this one right through Walsh to get their two goal lead back. Not for long though as the Gales Haley finds Kitchen back door and we're 5-4 going to the third. Where it's all Ironheads to close it out. Gale's waiting for the Ironheads to set up their offense. Wilson uses that opportunity, goes hard to the net, and he makes it 6-4. Then it's Wilson showing he can do it on both ends. Pressuring up here, gets the ball loose, picks it up, races down before tucking home his hat trick and a three goal lead. Ironheads add two more as they take this game three victory 9-4 and take a 2-1 series lead home on Saturday where they can close out this series. Here's Mark Wilson on his strip score in the third period. I mean I play defense in the field and I know like you can't really cross check and when they're at like a distance just to try and get under their bottom hand there and so um, you know when the guy's so far from the rest of the players if I get a strip there I think I have some good wheels and I don't think he's going to catch me so luckily he popped it out of his stick and turned out pretty well for us. I've seen the ball tonight, you know, my defense for doing their jobs, allowing me to see everything coming in from the outside. Uh, they did a good job on lo not losing their man uh, tonight and letting them slip by, go one on one on top of me. Um, so all in all, it was just a great team effort, made my job a lot easier. Cam's uh, been huge for us all, uh, all series and all year on face-off, scoring goals, doing everything he can. So when he went down there in warm-ups, we, uh, we all rallied together and wanted to get this one for him. But that's a good thing about our team. We had some depth here uh, on the left-hand side and at face-off. I thought Curtis Rouch did a really good job stepping into a role, taking face-offs and playing on the left-hand side. Uh, hopefully it's nothing too serious and uh, we can have him back as soon as possible.